Don't want to be wasting your time. This is like an interview process. You the Next Door Podcast. Welcome back to the Next Door Podcast. I am Bestie Next Door, and I'm like your bestie next door. If you like your tea to be extra, extra sweet, then this place is not for you. Because we like our tea to be sweet and bitter. Sweet enough that it goes down, bitter enough to wake us up. Today, we are drinking Chardonnay, because we are classy. And this is Lendy Men's. I believe this bottle was made in 2018. It's an Australian wine. And it's by an artist named David Blumez. David Blumez. For SMR sakes, let's crack it open. You know when you're drinking wine, you gotta do your little swerve around the glass because we're classy. First sip. Mm. interesting taste it's kind of it's on a bitter side this this bottle is probably gonna get me effed up i kid you not okay this has 13.5 percent alcohol this is definitely tasting like if i drink this whole bottle i'm definitely gonna be tipsy so on today's episode we're talking about the type of drink you order as a woman on a date and what it says about you now you guys know i always bounce from different topic to topic anyway but did you know the type of drink you order on a date as a woman shows the type of woman you are let's talk about it i was actually watching a clip on youtube with uh ddg and he was talking to kai saint and he actually said something like you know he's maturing now and he likes to drink red you know what let's watch the clip together you say let me get a bottle of red wine Mm. she's gonna look at you different she is but what if she don't drink red wine she ain't got to, as mm. long as you drink it. Mm. You get to hold the cup like this and shit, just some classy it's shit. It's for the look. Yeah, and you got cologne on at the but same let me, time. Let me ask you this, what if she ordered it mm. four, and you don't say nothing, is it cool then? What you mean? Just, like, just, she be like, they sit down and be like, yeah, let me get the best champagne, I mean, the best red wine you guys had. That's that's the girl you want. How? If you we want a girl that's gonna say, oh, I wanna, um, I want some Hennessy. Hennessy and Coke. That's the type of girl you want. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? She ordered that. <laughs> you get in that back. <laughs> you understand? Now let's elaborate a little bit more on it because truly, truly, what you order as a woman on a date really does says a lot about you and your character, especially if it's the first date. Now, if you had like multiple dates and you know this person really well, then it doesn't really matter what kind of drink you order because they already know you. But first impression matters a lot, especially when you're going on a date. Now, if you go on a date and you're ordering a Hennessy and Coke, and you're at a fancy restaurant, you say, oh yeah, I want Henny and Coke, or I want Patron and this, or I want, I want Casamigos. It really says a lot about your character on the first date because why are you trying to get drunk on the first date? The first date is meant for you to analyze him and know what kind of value he's going to add in your life. And with you drinking Hennessy and Coke or having five shots of Hennessy or having five shots of Casamigos, you're not going to be stable enough to really analyze and really observe his character and most of the time once you start having all those drinks you're going to start getting loose with the legs and before you know it you're doing the walk of shame at 3 a.m in the morning without even knowing if that man was going to add any value to your life he checkmate early So it's very important when you're on your first date, really be mindful of what you order. Order a glass of wine because that shows you're classy and you really want to engage in a conversation. You know, most times women go on first dates and they go on the first date extremely hungry. You should not be going on your first date extremely hungry because if you go there extremely hungry, you're definitely not going to be listening to anything he's saying. You're going to be more focused on eating and eating till you're full. And by the time you're full, you're not even going to have any energy to want to talk or want to even hear what he has to say. It makes it look like you you don't have proper etiquette. Eat enough so that you're not hungry, but never eat to finish. You can always take the food away and dog it when you get home, but when you're on that first date, you really want to use that time to analyze this guy. You don't want to be wasting your time. This is like an interview process. You don't want to be wasting your time with a candidate that you know is not going to offer you anything or going to add any value to your life. So you really need to focus on the person that you're with and ask them questions and try not to 
Try not to say too much. Say things that's interesting, but don't say too much where it's like you're oversharing. And be flirtatious. A lot of women don't understand when you're on a first date with a guy, you want to give him that stamp that she's fun to be around. Like, she's fun to be around. I want to be around this girl again, and I'm willing to do whatever it is to be with this girl because I like her energy and I like her vibes, and I will do anything to be around this girl at any given moment. That's the type of girl you want to be. You don't want to be the girl that's either eating too much or quiet, playing with her hair, playing with her nails, or too drunk. You don't want to be that you don't want to be overly fun where it's a one night stand and you don't want to be boring where it's too serious and it's like you're trying to get married in 24 hours if you understand what I'm saying so ordering red wine ordering white wine ordering rose wine those are the type of things you want to go for on a date because you don't want to look like a classless girl that doesn't go out that much you heard what that guy said if you're on a first date with a guy and you're ordering hennessy and coke or casamigos in his mind he's like yeah i'm getting late tonight minimum effort yeah i'm getting late checkmate because he's gonna make you order more and more and more and more and before you know it you're spreading your legs like a banana doing the walk of shame All of this etiquette and dating etiquette is in the High Value Woman course. Now, I want to test if you guys are actually observing something about me with this glass. I deliberately made myself conscious about how I'm drinking this glass. Do you notice that I only have my lips on one side of the cup? I didn't kiss the whole glass. That's how you need to be. When you are drinking wine, especially in public or on a date, you don't want to have your lipstick all over the glass. That's tacky, very tacky. And it shows you don't have much control. You're not as organized because an organized woman is going to have her glass in one place and she's going to be conscious about, okay, this is the place I'm drinking from. You don't want to be kissing your wine glass like you're giving it a sugar rim on a margarita. It's not giving that. Wherever you place your lips and wherever your lips is is where your lips should always land when you're looking to take a sip. If you notice on my glass... I'm not kissing my rim of my wine glass. If you notice, I'm only on one side of my glass because it looks tacky when you have lipstick is all over the glass. It looks tacky. Keep your lips on one side of the glass, like so. And I know most women like to hold their glass like this and drink like this, but you're really supposed to hold your wine glass by the stem because when you hold it by the stem, you can do a shake and you can... When you hold it like this, it's just like, I mean, some people, I mean, it's not really, there's no really proper way, but the etiquette way, if you Google this, the etiquette way to hold a glass is really by the stem. You're really supposed to hold it by the stem. You have more control when you hold it by the stem. You literally have more control. I could bend my glass over. I could, you have more control. When you hold it here, it's kind of like, it's only but so much movement that you have with your hand. But if I'm holding it by the stem, I have so much more movement with my glass. You know what I'm saying? Just in case you got to throw this on somebody because they got you effed up. No, I'm, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Okay, guys. So this episode wasn't really meant to be that long. I really wanted to address what kind of drink you should have on your first date because I feel like a lot of women don't really know this. And this is not something that's talked about as often. So this episode really isn't meant to be that long. It's just meant to be short and to the point of what you should have on your first date, what your drink says about you. As we're coming to an end of this episode, I want you to think about this. You're at a five-star restaurant, and a woman is ordering Hennessy and Coke. You're ordering a bottle of wine. Do you think a high-value man is going to go to the woman that's ordering a Hennessy and Coke? Or is he going to go to the woman that's ordering a bottle of the nicest wine that is in that building? She has class. That means she has things to talk about because she's in control of the things that's coming out her mouth. Because if you're drinking Hennessy and Coke, you're not going to have that much control of the things that come out your mouth once you get to the third glass. But if you're drinking wine, you have a sense of control of the things that come out your mouth because you're not going to be that intoxicated. And it shows your level of class. And, and of course, we are all classy babes. So when you're on a date with a guy on the first date, if it's the fifth, sixth date, it doesn't matter because he knows you already. But when you're on the first date, First impression matters. Do not go ordering a Hennessy and Coke or tequila. Don't make him think he's going to get that cookie that easy. I'm here to evaluate you, to know your tax bracket, to see the value you're going to add in my life, to see if we're going to even go on a second date. But if you're drinking Hennessy and Coke and you're drinking Patron, you're not going to be able to analyze that after the second or third glass. We're classy, not trashy.
And guys, thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. If you're listening on Spotify, I actually recommend you to watch it on YouTube. I'm more interesting to look at and watch, you know. But if you love my voice, of course, it's cool as well. Like, comment, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell so you can know when I upload new videos. Because I'm I'm going to be uploading a lot of videos this month. I kid you not, I'm gonna be oh, I'm gonna be giving heat this month, like heat. But like, comment, subscribe, and until we meet again.